I have bought a set of excellent quality castings with which I intend to make a set of uh, diagonal paddle steamer engines to a design published in 1955-1956 by a chap called Edgar Westbury. The date, the published date of my reference book is 1918. But by then, uh, I think paddle engines were already obsolete because the uh, my reference book is of not much use, candidly. The worst setup in the world. There has to be another way. It's too flexible. This is a one inch two flute milling cutter, so technically it's a slot drill, which is probably the wrong thing. And as best I can judge, the spindle speed is about 450 RPM. Anyway, this is the last one, so last one of these stalchions, anyway. Fingers crossed. My rather uneven bench, so not a fair test, but as best I can judge, everything's kind of standing upright. So I now need to find a bit of steel or something from which to make the base plate for this engine and then bolt this lot down and see how we get on. So having marked out <coughs> the bases of these, um, I don't quite know what you call them, for what are going to be 4BA holding down bolts, 5 on the long one, 4 on the bottom, and uh, 5 on this one, transfer to the drilling machine, mark that centre pot, and then just uh, Use the centre drill to spot where I've popped and follow through with uh, at this stage an 8 tapping drill so that I can follow through from the other side tapping size to uh, tap the base plate to which this lot's going to be affixed. If you're anything like me, important I think to write on whatever it is you're working up down left right which is in this case the paddle end left and right because if you're anything like me you lose concentration and the right becomes the left and so on and the front becomes the back and then nothing fits right I've got the side frames of this engine lined up and screwed to the base plate. The 4BA screws are temporary, I don't know of them but they're just temporary. And I've put two stiffening rods side to side with spacer tubes over those quarter inch diameter rods to hopefully make a fairly rigid arrangement for the engine when it's erected. What I now need to do is to cut some 5 8 wide slots by 3 quarter inch deep across these castings uh, to take the, uh, the big end brasses. And clearly it would be an advantage if by hook or by crook they were all done in one hit so that everything lined up and was parallel or at right angles as the case may be to everything else. And I have no idea whether this is going to work. But I've clamped a piece of steel across the bottom which has been lined up 
on the top side with my scribe lines either side that are actually parallel to the bearings and what I intend to do I don't know if it will work is now fix this into my angle device at the relevant angle such that these bearing seats become vertical and then attach the whole lot onto my milling machine which has enough travel so that I hopefully can run a cutter because it only needs cleaning up right across from side to side. Will it work? I've got absolutely no idea. Using my trusty 12 inch ruler I judged this piece of uh, looks like an 8 square stock to be straight, certainly for what I'm doing. So I've clamped it into one of the recesses. I have lightly taken a file across this lot uh, and what we now have to try and decide is whether that bar is vertical and to my eye it's actually not, it's got a slight lean in that direction I believe so I need to make a correction to assist me in this endeavour of getting these recesses orientated correctly I've chucked a piece of um, well, I don't know what size it is but anyway it's ground round rod in my drill press which I assume to be about as vertical as anything else in this workshop and yeah I was right this the angle the angle here isn't quite right because the piece of square rod has got a slight lean into that rod so I need to just a fraction lower the angle of my angle plate to get this right so that's the next job okay I've made a slight adjustment to the tilt of this table and I'm not going to say it's perfect because I'm sure it's not but bear in mind any error is magnified here and we're only going to machine a little slot down here I'm going to call that good for the purposes of what I'm doing I mean I'm sure there must be proper ways of doing this but I don't know what they are and if this works for me good enough it hasn't taken very long to set it up so we'll see now these castings for these uh, side plates are of pretty good quality and they are already here is damn it three quarters of an inch deep the width of the slots isn't right but they are three quarters of an inch deep and using this bar like some miracle and lining that with the spaces I've put in everything looks about parallel to my eye anyway um, so I think the lightest possible cut across the bottom should make sure that all these seats are at least at the same level relative to the bed plate so what I'm doing here is cleaning up the depth of these slots and that face and then when I'm satisfied with that I'll work on the other one.
me. I wait to see, but I think I'm on the final cut. Using my trusty power feed, i.e. my drill. Well, as far as I can judge, these slots are supposed to be uh, five eighths of an inch wide and three quarter of an inch deep. As far as I can measure, the depth is about right, and the width is, um, as far as I can do at this stage, about 0.628 of an inch, which is three thou wider than they're supposed to be. Doesn't matter because clearly I'll make the uh, bearing blocks, brasses, whatever they're going to be called to suit the slot so uh, I'm going to stop, that's it well I've no doubt that my awful setup would make Adam Move, Joe Pizinski and Mr Crispin my YouTube machine in superheroes cringe or weep in despair sorry guys I'm a rank amateur no training got no idea what I'm doing just try and figure it out and do the best I can every day is an adventure sort of so what I'm doing here using one of my classical lethal setups is splitting along the centre line the block of gun metal I think it is from which I'm going to form the, uh, the main bearings for this Palestinian engine. The plan now using some fairly low melting point solder is to sweat these two parts together there is an alignment mark here, you probably can't see that uh, sweat these two parts together and then using the same slitting saw to cut the four blocks from which the uh, the bearings of this pad diagonal paddle engine will then eventually be uh, machined up bore the holes in the middle of each block probably using a stack method um, for the crankshaft so they should all line up and uh, the final operation assuming it hasn't fallen apart in the meantime will be to uh, and sold the affairs. We wait to be impressed. Having used the slitting saw to split this uh, bearing brass in two, I've now soft soldered the two parts together for the purposes of parting off the various lengths for the bearings and uh, doing the finishing cuts and whatnot. I'm hoping this will be a nice square cut and won't need much. Uh, machining at the end, but we'll see.
So this is number one, mark one, on the top and the bottom face. With a little B on the bottom to say that this will actually be the bottom of this bearing when it's split. And when it's machined, it will slip in there, we hope. Right, all four bearing blocks are fitted into the, um, I never know what to call these things actually, staunching stands or something, side plates. They're all fitted in, they're a nice fit, they don't slop about. I haven't yet um, bored through for the crankshafts, not quite made my mind up how I'm going to do that. And... Uh, the only other thing to do on these is they're all standing a little bit too proud of the side plates. So I just need to reduce the uh, the height. So I don't think they want to be flush with these side plates, but probably just a little bit proud so the keepers will just hold them down when they get around to making those. So the heights just need reducing a touch. Um, sixteenth of an inch or so, maybe a little bit more. And then the next task will be to uh, bore through the relevant diameter for the two, two crank, this is a split crankshaft, one this side, one that side, but to bore through for the crankshaft, no big deal. 